Hello, welcome. Welcome to the second video on our uh, stairs assignment, which is uh, part of our week three assignments for AutoCAD assignments. And this one's going to show us how to uh, complete our stairs. Now, in the first video, we came up with some determination of the values for our um, our stairs, and more specifically, the riser height. And in this example, the riser height is going to be 6 and 11 sixteenths inches. We also uh, desired to make our tread length about 11 inches uh, using dimensional lever at 1.5 inches tall. So we're going to just go ahead and start uh, drawing those units out. So start with the line. We're going to start with the line using our A walls layer and just to be consistent with our architectural drawing that we've done so far. We're going to stick with that layer for now. But uh, typically in a production environment, you'd have a specific layer for specific things. And because we're putting stairs together, it really isn't a wall, but uh, we're not going to create any layers beyond that. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to draw a line up. It's going to be 6 and 11 sixteenths. The way you draw the, or enter that value in is you type in 6 and then dash 11 divided by 16. And then the second thing we're going to do is we're going to put a draw a rectangle out, which is going to represent a a tread. So we're going to make that uh, 11 inches wide, tab 1.5. So there's a riser, there's our tread. We're going to put a one inch nosing on this. And the way we're going to arrange this together, so we're going to take our tread, we're going to move that to the to the end over here. And really what we want is a riser height from the floor, and we can represent the, the floor floor, the floor of the first floor, as that line. What we want is a dimension, a riser height of uh, 6 and 11 sixteenths inches. It's actually 8 and 3 sixteenths of an inch, because it's taking into consideration a tread. So we t need to, at this point, take that tread and move it down. And so then at the very top of the riser, we want to put it at the bottom of the riser, so that the total distance from one floor to the other, from the floor to the first step, is going to be 11, or 6 and 11 sixteenths. As it is. Okay, we're going to put a nose in on this of 1 inch, so we're going to take that and we're going to move it over 1 inch. We're going to take our riser line and bring that down, because we don't need to have that in the middle there. And uh, let's go ahead and dimension this one last time to make sure we have all of our values correct. And we're doing this on the walls layer, at least for now, just for reference. That's one and a half inches, and again, this should be 6 and 11 sixteenths, and that should be a one inch nosing. All right, we're ready to go. If you want, you can make a block out of this. Remember how we do that? And what we're going to be doing at this point is we're going to take these two elements, and we're going to copy them and move them up the chain. So let's take these two elements, let's make a block out of them. So go to the Create Block button on our Home tab and our Ribbon. Let's call that Stair Block. Perhaps. We'll call it in a manner you see fit. We're going to pick a point. We're going to pick this point. Select our objects if we haven't done so. Enter and then OK. So now we have a block. And now we can copy this. The easiest way to do this, at least initially, is to copy it 16 times. From one step to another. For some reason, I can't get my zoom to go out. And if you find that uh, a problem with your middle mouse button, with the scroll button, do this. Type in Z, Enter, minus Enter. And maybe a fraction of what we're working with right now, maybe a tenth of an inch, 0.1. Takes you way out, so now you have the ability to scroll. What that does is it allows AutoCAD to readjust the range of scrolling between a very small value to a very large value. And we seem to have been on the upper range of that. So let's go ahead and continue copying this. From the very end of that, to that, to that, to that, that, and that. What we're going to be doing is doing that 16 times. Uh, there's another way of doing this, and I'll introduce you to the array command in the next video. So please join me there.